This is for Robert at uh, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Great channel. Go over and check him out. This is the VR. He tagged me in a uh, video about a week ago called Yours and Yours. S-T-H-F. You know, crap hits the fan. So, one of the, there are six questions of this. So, one of them is, um, have you talked to your family and what was the response to an SHTF scenario? Uh, we kind of talked to it a little bit. Um, not a whole lot. Uh, basically, it's all me. Um, I don't have a wife or kids. Uh, I've got one sister. Um, you know, she has her own thing going, so. Uh, it's pretty much up to me, and I'll be pretty well solo. Next question. Um, crap hits the fan. Have you... And if crap hits the fan and started, would you let family and friends join your group? Of course. Um, I have few friends. Those people who I consider to be friends uh, would be more welcome to. Um, and their families would be welcome to. Uh, same thing with most of my family. Now, there is some exceptions. And um, you kind of play those by ear as things go along. Um, third, crap hits a pants situation. And your know, family or friend member is not uh, carrying their weight. What do you do? Uh, me, it's one of those things where I kind of approach them off by themselves. Uh, no need to embarrass them or upset them from a group. Nor do you want the group, you know, to start attacking them either. So you pull them aside, you talk to them, uh, see if that works. Um, if you got to go back to them again, you kind of, you know, sit, simply put, you know, you got to produce, you got to get out. Um, and again, there was exceptions to this too. I mean, Young, old, sick, hurt. Um, you just got to kind of take things in, into stride. And uh, you may have to step up your game depending on what it is. Um, if the food and game becomes low or scarce, uh, what would you do? Um, giving the place that I would pretty much go if I had to bug out, um, I could pretty much figure out some place to even fish, uh, gather, um, you know, the, you can also trade, um, depending on where you're at and, um, your surroundings and stuff, a lot of people will be willing to trade for things. It's the reason why you should always stock up on commodities. Um, even if you don't smoke cigarettes, having a carton of cigarettes sitting back in the freezer sometimes, hey, people will trade for smokes. Um, alcohol and coffee. Those are two more, you know, a case of beer and a uh, thing of coffee can go a long ways, even if it's just an icebreaker. Um, those things are just monumental to people when they really are stressed out, they're scared, they're tired, they're aggravated. These things help. And one more item I would suggest is toilet paper. Um, I'm going to tell you real quick, if you got a bug out and uh, you come across somebody, got toilet paper, you're going to want that toilet paper. You'll be willing to trade. Um, another one is, what is your fear? Um, do you fear martial law? Do you fear um, economic collapse? Um, natural calamities? Uh, things like that. Uh, for me, it would be a natural disaster. Um, I live in a town of 50,000 people. We have 70 cops. Um, the martial law just isn't going to happen. Um, we have a National Guard here, but <laughs> um, I'm more of a National Guard than they are. We'll put it that way. Um, natural disaster by far. I mean, we haven't been hit in a, by a tornado since like the 50s or 60s or something like that. Uh, we get a lot of straight line winds that come in. Um, Hurricane Ike winds devastated Ohio when that happened. Um, we were out two weeks without power. And that's when you really begin to wonder um, how things are going to fare out, how you, how well you're going to do, um, how do you get by. Um, the biggest thing I saw here, people traded off. 
for different things. Nobody was rioting, eluding. Uh, nobody was really causing any problems. Um, you know, obviously there was no work, so people sat around. Um, they stayed drunk. Yeah, they cooked out. The uh, neighbors actually talked to each other. People drove around to check on each other. Um, they would share items, even if they had to drive to share the items. Um, it was, I, it, honestly, it was really a terrific time. Um, would you join a gang to rob or steal? No. Um, you cannot have a thief among you. Um, a thief among you will rob you of the very things that it will be life essential. Um, there's no respect in my, for me, there's no respect of a thief. Um, I deal with homeless people all the time when I'm out camping and bushcrafting and stuff. And, um, you know, I always keep an extra food, water, and smokes on me. Um, and that's something I always say to them, you know. If you're out there and you're thieving, then you're basically putting yourself up to be shot. Um, just won't do it. And as far as an actual gang versus a group, um, you know, uh, again, I'm not going out there to be violent um, at all. Um, that's a necessary risk that is not necessary. Uh, that's for lazy people who, uh, who decide that they think that they're Rambo. And those are the guys that you will see lying in the street somewhere. Shot, bleeding out. Um, so robbing and pillaging and things like that, no. Not me. Uh, wouldn't want anything to do with that. So, uh, hope you guys kind of enjoy those answers. Um, I really like stuff like this. I uh, really enjoyed the uh, tags and the VRs. Um, sorry it took so long, Robert. Um, been kind of dealing with um, a close friend who may have cancer, so kind of dealing with that takes priority. So, uh, I would like to tag um, Mystic Dave's um, and Haggard Outdoors. Um, kind of see what these guys, these guys are uh, fairly local to me and be interested to see what they, they have to say. So you guys enjoy and I will see you later.